Hi, Caitlin. We're going to begin by doing a voice evaluation. Can you say ah uh, for me? Ah. Uh. Okay, Caitlin. Now you're going to repeat the following sentences after me. The blue spot is on the key again. The blue spot is on the key again. Perfect. How hard did he hit him? How hard did he hit him? We were away a year ago. We were away a year ago. Now I would like you to tell me a little about your voice today. My voice feels weak and quiet. I also have some discomfort in my vocal tract and have some throat dryness. Perfect. Um, so from this quick little voice evaluation, I can tell you that overall your voice is severely deviant from normal. For breathiness, you were rated severely deviant as well as for loudness, with the nature of the abnormality being noted as soft. Your pitch was observed to be moderately deviant and your resonance was noted to be that of a whisper. Now I would like you to fill out this voice handicap index for me, and then we will continue the evaluation with by performing a laryngoscopy and a video stroboscopy to assess what might be the cause of your lack of phonation. Okay, Caitlin, so now I'm going to insert this flexible scope through your nose so we can get a good look at your vocal cords during phonation. So now we can see in this laryngoscopy how your vocal folds are not actually adducting. However, you have a normal looking laryngeal structure with intact bilateral mobile vocal cords. So now we're going to do the same thing, but this time with a flexible scope that has a strobe light attached to it to make a slow movement representation of the vocal fold vibrations. So here we go. What? So here again, we can see that your vocal folds are not fully adducting, but when you produce the cough, we were able to see that there is a closure between the vocal folds. These scopes both reveal the lack of proper vocal fold adduction and bilateral normal mobility, leading to the presence of glottis gap during phonation. So now I'd just like to go over the rest of the results with you from the assessment today. So from your recorded production of the vowel A, uh, I was able to assess it with Pratt software to further identify your quality of voice. From the data, it was found that your max phonation time was 9.9 .9 seconds, presenting with a frequency of zero decibels and an intensity of 35 decibels, which whispered speech has no frequency because the sound source of whispering is turbulent airflow and the vocal folds do not vibrate. Similarly, why jitter and shimmer were undefined because of this lack of vibration. This other spectrogram depicts what a normal female voice should look like. And then after reading through your voice handicap form that you filled out for me here, it's seen that you rated yourself a 79, which places you in the severe category, insinuating that it is having a severe impact on your day-to-day -day life. So let's get you started with some voice therapy with Carly so we can get you back to enjoying your voice. I just wanted to show you quickly as well, the Cape V form that we also filled out for you that did your voice evaluation. But now I'll send you over to Carly. Okay, that sounds.